Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Captain James Flint. Today we're going to go over the basics of railguns and plasma accelerators, as well as the modifications available to them. Several of these modifications have already been covered in previous episodes, but will be covered again here for your convenience. As always, you can find timestamps in the description below to skip to the information you're looking for. Let's get to it! First off, let's cover the basics. Plasma accelerators only come in fixed variant and are not available in the small class 1 size. They are a velocity based projectile hardpoint that are unique in that they deal a portion of their damage as absolute damage. Absolute damage is damage that ignores resistances. However, PAs only deal 60% of their damage as absolute. The remaining 40% is split between 20% as thermal damage and 20% kinetic damage. They have a very slow rate of fire, they build a lot of heat, and have a painfully long reload time of around 6 seconds. But across all class sizes, they share an identical projectile velocity. Let's move on to railguns. Railguns are rather unique. They only come in fixed variant, and they only come in class 1 and 2 sizes as well. Rails can be tricky to land shots with, as they have a short charge up time before they fire, in a similar fashion to multi cannons and their spin up time. Luckily, this charge up does not drain your capacitor if you disengage before firing. Rail guns, like lasers, are hit scan, meaning the exact moment they fire, they connect. There is no projectile that has a travel time to the target. They also have a split damage type, dealing roughly 65% of their damage as thermal and the remaining 35% as kinetic damage. They have an extremely fast reload speed, but only one round per reload, and they also build a lot of heat. Here's where they get really interesting. All hardpoints have what is called a penetration depth value. Railguns have a near 100% penetration depth, meaning they can strike any module regardless of how much ship the shot has to travel through, provided that shot does not hit another module along the way. One frustrating aspect to note, however, small railguns have a slightly different charge up duration than mediums, so pairing small and medium rails on the same ship in the same fire group will have two volleys instead of one, requiring you to keep sights on the target for a longer duration. Now that you're familiar with how these weapons work without mods, let's dive into the modifications themselves. We'll start with the lightweight mod. Lightweight cuts down its total weight by an enormous percentage, while also reducing power draw and distributor draw, but reduces integrity by over half the stock value as a drawback. This is not recommended for hull tanks, but one of the best choices for lightweight speed builds and explorers who like to pack some heat by helping increase top speed and jump range due to the lower mass. The long range mod can help increase your accuracy with both PAs and rails. While slightly increasing power draw requirements, it will double your range and remove all damage fall off entirely, while adding a bit more weight as well. One of the strongest benefits from this mod isn't as obvious as the stat changes. When applied to plasma accelerators, the 100% increase to shot speed doubles your projectile velocity. This is more advantageous in standard range engagements than in long range engagements, as it reduces the window in which your target can adjust their vector and speed, avoiding a slow traveling projectile, and helping land shots more frequently, thereby increasing your DPS. When long range is applied to railguns, there is no shot speed as they are a hit scan hardpoint, but as with all fixed weapons, they have a micro gimballing ability that is only improved at longer ranges. This ability means the fixed reticle will slightly adjust to the target. Let's take a look at micro gimballing in action. As you can clearly see here, the fixed weapon's targeting reticle actually moves ever so slightly. It's basically an aim assist, if you will. 
The further away the target is, the smaller the micro gimbaling adjustment. So this means, with the long range mod, the micro gimbal effect that's present on all fixed hardpoints can then operate with even greater precision. And, by selecting individual modules at extended ranges, this will place the single module targeting box directly over the entire ship, making module sniping extremely effective at longer ranges. Next up, we have the short range mod. Short range slashes your maximum range in half, adds a drastic change to fall off damage, and brings a heavy thermal load increase. But it adds an extremely large increase to damage output. One of the more extreme mods, short range changes the way you need to pilot while they're equipped. This mod is a great choice for up-close brawlers who can stick to their target with ease and maintain high time on target and dictate engagement range at the same time. The sturdy modification is the opposite of lightweight. It doubles the mass of the hardpoint, but drastically increases integrity. While sturdy also adds a solid increase to piercing values, this is irrelevant on railguns and plasma accelerators, as their inherent piercing value is already above all ships currently in the game. It also adds a slight thermal load reduction. Sturdy is an excellent choice for hull tanks, and almost mandatory for running shieldless. Efficient is only available on PAs in this category and is a good all-around choice when no other mod stands out for your build. It has no negative drawbacks and helps reduce the biggest negative attributes that PAs naturally have, power draw, distributor draw, and thermal load. It also boosts damage and is a great choice when running multiple plasma accelerators or on hot running ships that need a little help keeping temperature under control. All right, let's be real a moment. If you've been following my channel or know me from in-game, you'll know that I genuinely try to remain unbiased on all of my content. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule, however, but my disdain for a select few options are strictly based on information rather than personal preference. So with that being said, the focus mod is only available on PAs, but is a hard mod to justify using when you could use long range instead. While it doesn't bring the small increase to power power draw, and mass that long range does, focused extends your range by the same amount but maintains the damage fall off. What it does do is increase piercing. However, the already inherent piercing value of PAs currently exceeds the highest hull hardness for any human ship currently available. This means you gain no additional benefits from its strongest buff. Unless your build is extremely precise in power requirements, long range is going to be the better option in virtually every case. Overcharge is another Plasma Accelerator exclusive. It packs an enormous punch, but increases the biggest penalties of Plasma Accelerators even further. While boosting damage to nearly the highest level possible, it also raises the distributor draw substantially, as well as increasing the heat buildup even further. This mod doesn't shine particularly well on ships that can maintain extended time on target, but for bigger, slower turning ships, it can pack a massive punch when someone does finally come into view. It also does not pair well with multiple overcharge PAs on the same build. Rapid Fire is a fun mod, albeit not as practical as others, and is another PA exclusive mod in this list, as well as increasing damage output potential per magazine by the rate of fire increase. It increases your sustained damage per second due to the massive slash and reload time, which is another PA drawback. It also helps control distributor draw per shot, but also adds the dreaded jitter. Luckily, at close proximity engagements, it's hardly noticeable and may only affect your longer range shots or engagements against smaller targets. High Capacity is the only Railgun exclusive mod on this list and is great for staying power in combat for lengthy amounts of time. It doubles your limited ammo reserves that rails bring and adds a slight boost to your fire rate as well. Just be mindful of that mass increase. An excellent choice for commanders looking to practice their railgun skills or run multiple combat missions before restocking. That's going to be it for Episode 7. Thanks for tuning in once again. Be on the lookout for Episode 8, 
which will conclude the Hardpoint Engineering series. If you found anything in this video helpful or have questions on the subjects covered, feel free to reach out on Twitter at FlintlockENG or leave a comment down below. You can also find me on Patreon, the link is listed below. But until next time, keep tinkering, Commanders!